We would be absolute idiots not to seize this opportunity. Hold on to your stocking because Big Brother Reindeer Games is getting cutthroat. Even the elves can't protect you now. Now, which of our players is sent packing on Santa's sleigh in episode two? And is the North Pole gearing up for a full on war? Merry Christmas, let the anxiety begin. Ready your snowballs? Let's get into Big Brother Reindeer Games episode two. I'm Anna Rumor and this is Pop Culture Social Call. On the heels of Cameron's elimination in episode one, our house guests are scrambling to strategize. Brittany and Danielle are aiming for the dynamic duo of Cody and Frankie, and so is Taylor. But Cody is well aware of his threat level in the game, and Frankie is doing damage control with Xavier after putting him in the Santa showdown. Whether or not this deal is gonna be honored, we'll see. It all leads to the tensest Christmas caroling I've ever seen when the Naughty or Nice Challenge asked the house guests to take a list of 20 songs and compare it to torn up cheap music around the lodge in order to narrow down the song that cranky carolers will sing. Brittany learned her lesson last week, she's not trying to win again, and Xavier is following suit with throwing the comp. Nicole wanted to win the challenge, but her head wasn't exactly in the carol game. Oh, come ye, oh, come ye all faithful. Oh, ye come all faithful. Oh, ye come all, oh, what is it again? Ultimately though, the win went to Cody and he's thrilled. Now Cody does get an advantage. He gets to pick three players to be on his Jingle Bell Brawl team. That's right, we're competing in teams. And Cody wants a super team, assemble. It might make sense to get someone a little more cerebral. I don't know what you mean by cerebral. Being that a player on the other team gets a disadvantage, let's just say people really wanted to be on Cody's team. I'll be personally offended if I'm not on your team. I'm not saying that you would be taking food away from my children's mouths. Right. But a little. Cody ended up choosing Nicole, Frankie, and Xavier for his green team though, leaving Brittany, Danielle, Taylor, and Josh on the red team. And it's Taylor who Cody gave the disadvantage to, so that's a bummer for the whole red team. We were absolutely handpicked to be on the loser team. It's time for the Jingle Bell Brawl to begin as the teams rush to decorate four Christmas trees with these differently weighted ornaments. Well, five trees for the red team, Taylor had to decorate another one as her punishment. But despite the disadvantage and Cody's confidence in his super Santas, it was the red team that walked away the winners. These snowballs just paid themselves because they think they built the dream team. Not only is the red team safe from the day's elimination, they also get to choose one player from the other team to make safe, sending the other three to Santa showdown, with last place finisher getting eliminated. Cody obviously didn't expect to be saved, but Xavier was surprised that his alliance ultimately decided to save Nicole instead of him. Well, damn. <laughs> All right. Nicole isn't exactly a comp threat, though, and a chance to get out ex Frankie or Cody, it's hard to pass up. That would be like taking Santa's personal gift and saying, no, Santa, and tossing it in the fire. For this Santa showdown, the trio had to assemble the perfect gift for five pretty picky kids, and it's Xavier who finishes first, closely followed by Frankie, meaning it's Cody who's eliminated. He's following Cameron out of the house with a commemorative fruitcake, of course. Oh, fruitcake! You and me! Cody's elimination is great news for everyone in the house, except Frankie and Nicole, who'd been working with him. But that didn't stop Frankie from celebrating, though. Woo! I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Cool. Cody was one of the biggest threats in the game, so having him out really opens things up. But who's gonna go home next? Keep watching Big Brother Reindeer Games with us, like and subscribe for all these recaps, and head over to popculture.com for the latest entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>